<laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing great. Thanks for all those who are part of this community and for the new subscribers. Thank you so much. All right. So now let's get to the business of today. The long-awaited entrance exam. But anyways, a lot of you have been asking for sample questions for the entrance exam, which most, like almost all the University of Applied Science didn't have on their website. And there's no way I'm just going to grab, you know, I was just going to grab something from somewhere that's not reliable and then come put it here on my channel. No. If you have been following me from the word go, you notice that I don't talk about things that are not on, like things that are not, um, that cannot be verified. That's, that's the best way to put it. I don't talk about those things. I don't just hear or feel like, and then I just come put it out there. No. Why? Because we are talking about students who are passionate and also looking forward to come study in Finland. So there's just no way I'm going to derail these students, all right? I love you guys so much, and I don't just want to talk about things. So just so to get views and followers and whatever. So that's the main reason why I don't talk about things that I'm not sure of. When I'm talking about things that are when I talk about things that I'm not sure, I mean things that I can't tell you go to this website is there. All right. So that's the reason why I have been avoiding to talk about this particular topic. But today I'm talking about this because I stumbled on sample questions um, at the University of, um, sorry, at Hagahelia University of Applied Science one day on their website and I try to check also in other like UAS um, websites I didn't find but the samples on their website and they just put it there for those that will be applying for the autumn session so the ones that is the one that is currently going on all right so just to be clear these are sample questions for the different programs that Hagahela is offering but I'm so certain that it's the same question. Like if you, if you're you're applying for business, tourism, management, international business, all these programs, all right. Those for nursing, I really don't think you can. But you can just take a look, anyways, because just to have a clue. But if I'll also check if that of nursing is available in other universities, I mean, University of Applied Sciences, then I will bring it up here. But now i have this from hangahelia university of applied science and i'm gonna leave a link below you can download it you can print it out so that you can use it um, during this upcoming entrance exam whatever information you get from a school website that's for example if i'm applying to Savonia University and if Savonia University, if I go to the Savonia University website and I'm being told like, okay, the fees, you can pay your fees in two installments. I'll take that, I'll believe that, right? Because it's from the school website. But if somebody's saying, oh, you can pay your fees in two installments, um, then Savonia University of person and there's like, where, where is it written? Okay, so please always verify these things. And for example, if someone who, took the entrance exam in January 2022, choose to come up and say, okay, these were the questions. Like, yeah, you can just kind of like glance through and just see what's going on. But that doesn't mean like there are sample questions somewhere. Okay, there's a difference between you having a sample questions, like the one that I'm about to run you through. It's on the university website. Everything is clear, you can download it, you can use it. But if someone is saying, okay, I took this exam and this is what came, it's still okay. You can also take a look at that, but the person can miss one or two things. So if you're buying that information, it's just for you to have a clue. Not that you like memorize everything, thinking that that's the same thing that you see during the entrance exam. No, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not saying you should not listen to others. You shouldn't take that. No, that's not what I'm saying. Try to verify and make sure the information that you're taking in is the right information, right? I just want to make this clear because I've already had um, it's like a number of students 
because they saw the sample and then they went in there and it was something else. So please try as much as possible to verify your information and make sure that, okay, this is the right information and I'll stick to it. Okay, so enough of the sermon. <laughs> now, let me run you through the university website. So this is from Hagahelia website. Now, entrance examination information and example international business program. So this is for an example for the international business program and published for the autumn 2022 application round. So this is recent document. So yeah, they, they're just gonna talk more about the format, examination part, the minimum and maximum points, and um, evaluation of the written parts, the interview part of the exam. And it's the same year for this degree program in international business, information and instructions for applicants. And then um, now we have the multiple choice test on written material. So this is it. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below so that you can go through it and you know take a closer look at this. So you have this situation. The following text is based on the material available during the examination, the executive summary of environmental potential of the collaborative economy. The material deals with the, with the European Union. So in each question, one to five, one alternative A to C is true in view of the material. Find the true alternative in each case and mark it on the separate answer sheet. So kind of like case based stuff. And so these are the questions according to page one of the executive summary. Da, 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 da. So um, remember they say mark it on the separate answer sheet. True. In the view of the material, so if one of them is true, they might not tell the one that is true, something like that. So, these are the kind of questions that you'll be asked. And now, question two is about log logical thinking test. So, question one the normal price of a product is 200 euros, a discount of 40 euros is given, what is the discount percentage? So, so we talk like a lot of mathematics, like logical thinking. The price is discounted by 20% and the discounted price is 200 euros. How many euros was the discount? So we can work this out. And what is the next figure in the series? I don't want to go through <laughs> the questions in detail. That's why I will leave the link in the description box below so that you can go through it. Um, and then now you have writing test. So you're going to write. You have a question like this. In, it, in this task, your task is to write a summary as a shortcut below. So this is a task, write the answer in your own words. Do not respond. Do not reproduce passages from the source material, right? And here is a question. What is the question? Read the relevant section of the material on PP two to three and summarize what the current size of the collaborative economy is, and two, what the present socio-economic impact of the collaborative economy is. Remember that the answer must focus on information presented in the indicated part of the material. I hope my network, my network is not broken, breaking, sorry. <laughs> I hope the network is not breaking. Um. So answer sheet for parts one and two. So now you have the answers here, right? You can. So what you can do is you can actually go through, so these are the, this is the case, and all like, what I advise you is to go through the questions and then try to answer them all by yourself. And then you can come back and then look at the answers to see, oh, okay, I got this right, I didn't get this right, and then try to um, learn more better, all right? So you can 
keep trying and trying again. And remember, this is for business programs. Okay. All right. Go through it. So much for watching. Hope this information was helpful to you. Please give it a thumbs up. Invite your friends. And if you haven't subscribed, click the subscription bell and also the notification bell to get uh, more content from me. All right. So enjoy the rest of the week. Bye. My kids are calling me.